Morning, brothers and sisters. It's Friday morning here in beautiful Saskatchewan, Canada. I, uh, I hope you're having a blessed morning. Just wanted to, to say hi real quick, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the, the couple videos that I mirrored on, on my channel. A um, couple of really good creators, so check out their, their content, their past content. Um, Nicholson 1968's been around for a very, very long time and putting out phenomenal information and uh, is definitely a fellow brother and and the same with Dana. So yeah, take take the chance. Uh, all the credit goes to them for the tireless hours that they, they put into the, the setting of their videos for sure. So um, I, I just briefly wanted to talk about the predictive programming that we see in these videos and, and what's happening going forward. It's like the enemy when they set this whole uh, thing up it just went off without a hitch, without any kind of problem, any kind of pushback. Uh, whether they expected that or not, you know, is insignificant. But what is important is the next step. And so a lot of us have decided on our own that we're going to stay inside of our houses. And, you know, the odd people that decide to, to push the boundaries a little bit. You see those news clips of them. You know, I saw a, a video of a, a gentleman rollerblading with his children so that so this is a household that he's been confined to uh, decided to to keep his social distancing and go rollerblading with his kids and then ended up getting an eight hundred and eighty dollar ticket for it right in front of his kids so it, it's amazing that uh, the authorities that are, are pushing these rules are really setting you know the the, the standard not in front of the adults, but the children, and, and kind of setting the example of what the future looks like. So bear that in mind. But I, I did want to talk about the, the burst of um, <laughs> the burst of protesting we've got going on right now. Yes, it is peaceful for sure. And again, a, a lot of times when you have discernment and you speak to somebody about anything that you might see and you pray that you're wrong for sure I, I don't want any of you know anything bad to happen to anybody that, that's for sure but when you see when you have some discernment discernment you see you know kind of the things that are unfolding in front of you and and one of the the things that I do see is the fact that you know that because this thing did roll out was without a hitch you know they, they've we've kind of expected to, to do this, you know, regulating on our own. And that's kind of what's been happening here is we've all decided, okay, we're just going to stay inside like good sheep. Well, now they got to push it to where they can take some more rights. So how do you do that? How do you, when they've already got us locked in our homes, how do you get us to do something so that they can take more rights away? Okay. Well, you know, they give us a little bit of rope and, uh, you know, plant the bug in the ear of a peaceful protest. Now, I'm not saying that all these people worldwide are, are actors and, and this is all a conspiracy theory because that's really the umbrella that it's going to be put under anyways. So that's fine in itself. But what I do believe is that a lot of these ideas and agendas that get pushed going forward that I would say the first couple of them, if not the very first event, is definitely planned. I would say that. Now, I'm not speaking against the fact that we should have rights and that we should be able to speak when we need to that's not what I'm saying at all but it's how these things are done and yes they're done peacefully for right now but again takes that one bad apple that one bad apple to ruin it all for everybody and throughout history it just so happens that that bad apple decides to pop its head up at just these perfect times when something needs to be shut down. So, if you use your discernment and you look forward and you decide, you know what? How do we get these people, how do we motivate them so that we can take some more rights away from them? Because right now, we've really got them where we want them. They're in their house, just like we wanted them to, but it's so good that we can't even move forward with our plan. So now, all of a sudden, you've got these peaceful protests popping up all over everywhere right now now I get it some of you are gonna say 
you know what? Well, it kind of inspired or sparked other people across the world to do it. And you know what? That's great. I, I, I pray that that's what that is, people deciding to stand up. But here's the thing, you guys, and this is something we all have to remember, and there's nothing negative about it. These things have to happen. They're going to happen. It doesn't matter what we do or how much we protest or what goes on or what is said. The Father is going to go through with what needs to go through. And that's how that, that's the bottom line. So here are the things. Instead of us really worrying about things that are not in our control, let's start helping with things that are. And that's our free will choice to try to show these things to other brothers and sisters. So the easiest way to do that is just have a conversation with the person beside you. And eventually, I know you're all blessed with discernment, you'll be able to tell how far or how, how much they actually know and, and then you'll know to be able to when to, you know, push a little harder on that conversation or, or know when to step back. I used to be terrible at that. I would jam information down people's throats until they finally gave me that blank stare and uh, exit stage left smoke bomb they were gone so I I, that's something I've had to work on but we're at a time right now where I'm sensing there's a a lot of people that want information it's not so much of me going after people now it's where people are actually starting to come they know who I am anybody that knows me knows who I am I'm that guy that tinfoil hat wearing crazy conspiracy theorist proud of it but now they're all of a sudden starting to come a little bit. And so all glory goes to the Father for bringing them. Because that's exactly what it is. So let him continue to bring them. And don't ever turn somebody down when they want your ear. Or want a little bit of advice. Because that is a great opportunity for you to give them that one little nugget. That one breadcrumb that's going to continue them down that path to want to look for another one. So anyways, guys, I I hope you enjoy the videos. I have put one out in a couple days, and now I'm putting out a couple back-to-back ones. But again, I want to thank all the creators out there that put their hard effort into making these videos, and every single one of you that takes a second to watch them. Uh, Please like the videos, guys, because that's how it shows up in other people's feeds. Share them. Um, If you feel it in your spirit to subscribe, great. But that's not a huge concern to me. I'm very blessed to have this amazing group that we have right now and I love each and every one of you and every single other person that decides to uh, to watch and uh, and share guys so I pray you have a blessed day uh, father willing I'll do another one for sure I've got some ideas of, of some things that I want to show um, it's just a matter of you know that balance between family and finding time to do it so I either have to get up early or stay up late to do it but uh, that's what needs to be done so I love you guys I hope you have a blessed day. Take care of yourselves and we'll chat soon. Okay, bye.